Welcome in, everyone, to the Challenge After Show. Tonight, we're talking All-Stars 3, Episode 7, Let's Make a Deal. And no, it did not star Wayne Brady. Ladies, how are you? Hot tip. Secret, secret trivia. Like, my neighbor here in Palm Springs was in a boy band. Which one? O-Town? With, with Wayne Brady. Um, oh, I, that, but... All now, right, well, hey, hold on. Do you know the name of the band? I... Luke. Okay, I'm gonna just look it DJ. up. DJ. I don't remember. I'm just gonna look it up. Um, it was early. It's funny because my neighbor, who looks at most a hard 35, is not a hard. I mean, like a solid 35 is 50. So he looks like fully oh. decade generation than Wayne Brady, but he is indeed like a, I'm like. But Thomas, how old are you? And he's like, I mean, okay, you know, but he was in a boy band with him incredible uh, incredible yeah. I, it no does i can't find the name of it Brady, but i will I find out it when he comes out but okay it's not like like it's almost on the dl he's like yeah like when i live you know early days i guess i was so hoping you were headed down the road of like you know of course an instinct backstreet boys sort of thing no, no. well the reason I pamela brought up uh trivia there if you didn't know that's what the uh challenge of the day was it was a trivia that's challenge <laughs> called shooting stars i i don't want to just get right into that but i guess we can because we brought it up him i thought it was a little too easy this time around i thought i was like why do i know all these answers they gave out 32 questions. I wrote them all down. I have them all written down on this piece of paper. I got seven wrong out of the 32. Wow, pretty good. Uh, I agree that I thought it was easy, but now that, well, you maybe I didn't think of it that way, but now that you say it, I realize it was just easy. I think I felt proud of myself. I just felt like, wow, maybe, I, maybe I'm kind of smart. Maybe I could be successful on one of these shows. So thank you for bringing me back. So I down. didn't mean to bring you back down to earth. I know you were flying up there with the angels in the sky with the wings, but and Derek, the winner of the trivia. Derek. If Derek wins a trivia, you know, it's probably pretty easy, right? No, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Does that mean but, Derek? Yes. Derek is admittedly no, no trivia, you know, whiz. Yeah. This was more, are you smarter than a fifth grader than like good trivia? That's it's fair for sure. I mean, yeah. yeah, these were, some of these were ridiculous. The fastest land all. animal. How does everyone knows the yeah. fastest land animal? They got that wrong. She, uh, she said tiger. We actually discussed that. Um, it's so funny. I swear they've used that question before. Cause I think we've all looked it up. I feel like we have, they have said it before for sure. Uh, it was easy. And also I always like it when they have a little more challenge focused history. So mm. I was expecting yeah. a little bit of that. That's uh, interesting because I was actually hoping it was going to be the opposite because on oh. All Stars, we've seen a lot of that on uh, the All Star seasons when they ask a lot of questions about past challenges. And I was like, no, I want something fun and silly. I want people. To yeah, and I wouldn't, you know, they should do, thing. it would be fun if they did a trivia where it was like, who hooked up with who in this season of the challenge? Like, right. you know, like, like hookups or like this person dated this person. Maybe do like more like a personal life type deal instead of like, these five challenges were filmed in South America. Name them. Like, okay. I don't care. We don't remember. Like this one, is this one, this one's from Panama, correct? I think this is Panama this season. It is. Ask me in a year where All-Star Season 3 was filmed. I will not remember. It's just, it's not going to be, I don't remember it that way. The challenges. I remember just because you said it like that on this show. Okay. Something going to stick in your brain this time around. Maybe, uh, maybe but, this yeah, is the, the one I will. The cheetah question, the fastest land animal that was a Kellyanne. I was rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. The fact that she said tiger, the fact that she threw the sabotage and she's the first one out. It is, it was just really disappointing. Yeah. She's nice, Kellyanne. It's just funny. Even in her confessional, she's like, not happy for me, but I'm happy for her. Like Kellyanne seems genuinely nice. Look, we can get mad at Kellyanne all she all we want for her giving Veronica that sabotage and creating an enemy. But isn't that the exact person she should have given it to considering Veronica got zero wrong the entire time? She tried her best to get her out and she has the no, alliance. It was, it was well thought out. I thought also Brad did a good, not trying to get picked to go in. He pretty much knew he wasn't going to win. So he was figuring, I don't want to get picked to go in. 
by whoever I sabotage. And yeah, um, and 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 it was no harm, no foul, because literally no, he wasn't even close to being right. voted into the elimination yeah. at the end. So that was yeah. that was my takeaway too. Is this the past two to three episodes on our show? I've just been hyping up Brad because I am so admiring of how good he is at the show. But this was like next level bad. You, you oh some of the things oh he didn't know who the oh, first I thought it was a decent was. move I didn't think no no, no not bad. the move so much oh, he didn't know his trivia what, at all the what trivia. Were his sorry what, what um I I don't I didn't write unfortunately so I didn't have enough time to write down who was asked each question I just wrote down the questions um but do you remember any of Brad's questions that he was asked yeah. I, he was asked who the first person on the moon was. He said oh, Lance Armstrong, Lance right. Lance I got that one here. Armstrong. Which is hysterical and innocent, uh, naive enough, you know, but it is like, come on, Brad. So he close. was asked to name the four Beatles, which did you guys? Uh, I didn't, I keep, I always name? forget George Harrison. Oh, Me too, that's why I forgot. I, w- I was sitting there, named all three in my mind. I'm like, who am I forgetting? There's a fourth. Oh my God, who's the fourth person? So and that was one of my- And I Googled it and I was like, George Harrison, duh. I'm like, you know, I know, I know the Beatles. You didn't know who that was. But I like Brad's. Um, he's like Chris, Paul, and Steve. Steve. <laughs> a lot of the, the uh, like two or three of the questions I got wrong were the spelling ones. I can't spell to save my life. It's it's one of those things. If you put me in a spell, I'm done. I'm going to be going into an elimination if I have to spell. So there's like three wrong right there for me. I can't spell. Ophthalmologist? I'm not spelling that. I'm going to miss one letter. Uh, my favorite moment of trivia was when Derek was asked to name all of Kim and Kanye's children. Yeah. And he said, he said, so proud of himself. I really know Blue Ivy. And Naya's reaction was my absolute favorite. She just goes, Blue Ivy? That's Jay-Z and Beyonce's kid. Right. Can it, but what is what is Blue Ivy's full name? Blue Ivy. Probably Carter. <laughs> but like, so like her name is Blue. Like if I see her, I say, hi, Blue. blue. Yeah. Right. Right. That's insane. I've, I've never heard of a child with a name of a color. Well, okay. can you name, did you Google all of Kim and Kanye's children? They're weird names too. I don't know any of them, if I'm being honest. Chocolate? Isn't one named Chocolate? Fuck no. I know. What are their names? Go ahead. You said they're ridiculous North. names though. North. Yeah. Psalm. South. East, West. Psalm, like as in like P S A L M. Like yes, like a, like as in church, right? Yes. Okay, give me another one. That's all I know, and I'm uh, not sure if that's right. I'll look them up. By the... I know North, North is right. Okay, Saint, Saint, chocolate. I thought that was it. They have a, they have more. <laughs> Maybe I don't know them. <laughs> There's like four of them, Jenna. So you better. I don't know. Oh, I do not need. keep up. Uh. Crap, I'm I like, thought I knew them all. Now I'm so disappointed. I was over here. I, like, leave, I know all North, of them. One of the North kids' State. names is Chicago. 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 I knew that. I knew that. And, and you're giving me crap for chocolate. Chicago. I, I was know, close. But chocolate I, is wild. I it was close. Wow. Really? And Psalm isn't wild. It doesn't make sense in Kim and Kanye world because, uh, well, North, actually, I don't know why that makes sense. I think it's because someone North told are. them that was like someone cool was like, you should name your kid North. So it'd be Northwest. Yeah. Chicago is um, where Kanye is from. And then they're, and Kanye is very biblical and religious. So that's why. The Saint Psalm. and Psalm, I bet, are the and other Saint. ones. Unless I'm making up baby Psalm. I bet this is an easy oh, I didn't know that, of course. So I really have to eat my words. I don't I'm know like, if that's I was true. way too confident that I knew. I well, I looked them all up. I got it. I already looked them. You're good. You North, you Psalm, Chicago, and. Oh, it's right. Psalm, Saint. Saint, Chicago correct. And, okay. They have yeah, four. I was right about Psalm. We did it. I didn't think yeah. they got around to having four, but they had. I thought they had three. Anyways, okay, so that was. But a um, lot of these were. A lot of these were good in the sense of they kind of tricked you to maybe think of another answer because I actually made the same mistake as Nehemiah when he was asked what artist cut off their ear. At first, I was like Picasso, and then he I said Picasso. Like, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Yeah. So I it's one of those that unless you're, you know, you guys are so flip. dumb. No, I it's um, I couldn't do the spelling. The way the the one that I thought seemed like a fake trick question was thunder or lightning, and she's like thunder. Yeah, I like, didn't get I pulled like, there because it like, made it wrong. Like lightning's louder, but it's in too many light years away for us to hear. So right, maybe that could have been it. Right. right. Uh, let me let me okay. Let me see. I got the yeah. I got the Beatles one wrong. All the spelling ones wrong. I actually spelled torque right though. Torque I knew because it was 
I didn't know. So that um, is, I can't believe Derek got that right because. Oh, I didn't know the hard seltzer one. I mean, I know what white cologne is, it. but I didn't realize that they had a shortage of it. That was interesting. That's when that came on, white claw was the first hard seltzer mm-hmm. to come on the so, scene. So I figured it was. So like Nehemiah, we could have all guessed white claw and just gotten right. Yeah. Yeah, that would, be, would have been my guess. I didn't know for sure that it caused it, but I figured. Well, to find out that Nehemiah doesn't drink. I don't know why I always have the biggest like admiration for people who don't drink. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's a weird thing of me, of mine to be so interested or so wowed by the fact. But I, I think it's a weird trend. But I don't know how I feel about it. I have a few friends that like just don't stop drinking that aren't like you know aren't like like no big reason just did like a month and then we're like I feel good all right fine their parents and they have babies so I guess that has something to do with it I yeah, I didn't like drink I better waking up in the morning with my like toddler without having drank and I'm like that I can see I suppose I didn't drink until I was like 24 years old and yeah. then now I drink but it's like I'll have a drink I could I could go back to not drinking anything ever again as far as alcoholic yeah. beverage it doesn't I like, I enjoy it a little bit. Like it's kind of fun or whatever to have a drink. But even when I do drink, it's like one, maybe two drinks. And that's it in a night. I really just think that's so, no, I, I didn't mean to brag. So I'm amazing. just saying I can, I can relate to those people that don't drink. I could go back and be like Nehemiah and not drink anything right now and yeah. be fine with it. I could not drink, but I tend to be an all or nothing drinker. Like I don't like drink casual, like in our, you know what I mean? We're not like, what's well, a glass of wine that much? but I like pretty much go hard, but I save it for the party. Pamela, I was with you the night you went hard. It was fun. <laughs> yes. We, no, we all had a good time. I so amazing. Late, I'm also a late bloomer drinker. Like I didn't really drink at all until I sort of drank in college, but until I like was at like twenties. So I'm like a little late to the game of that. Doing my curve, doing my normal late twenties curve down now. Where I'm like, eh. <laughs> I wanted to ask you ladies, if you thought that TJ's, if, if TJ's lever did anything or if that was just for fun. Of course, TJ controls the entire game. Got it, got it. Somehow that one lever was able to release each individual one. Got it, yes, that makes sense, you're right. TJ is fun. everything. TJ is like everything. Mini bungee jumping, which I would it's, like enjoy, like controlled bungee jumping where you're getting controlled. that effect. It's not as terrifying. Very controlled. No, um, and I, I didn't think another, they went. Oh, sorry, go, go ahead. No, go, you go, Jenna. Um, bring up another Kardashian, someone, in the, well, it's actually Jenner. The fact that Kylie Jennifer... Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh Kylie Jennifer Jenner. Kendall, yeah. That's Kendall her middle name. Jennifer. Kendley Jennifer. Kylie Jenner is the, the first what? Oh, self-made. Self-made. self-made I, I wrote the same thing down. I oh, said, really, what do you really? I said, uh, no. To her, to her in you guys that don't day. remember that when that happened? It's like, I, I remember when that came out and it's like, you can't call this bitch self-made. I'm fucking sorry. Like, no, you can't. There's I, no. That's disgusting and ridiculous. Like, and I wish someone like I don't know if anyone said it on the show. Like, right after, like I wrote down self-made my ass. I mean, your family was already famous, and you walked into billions of millions of dollars right. already. Like, you yeah. aren't gonna. You're not. No one's gonna buy a Kylie Jenner uh, makeup line if her name is Kylie Smith. It just didn't. It's not gonna work that way. You're not gonna become that big. It's insane. No one's to me. gonna. No one's gonna finance. Kelly Smith's <laughs> makeup Smith's. because honestly I'm but sorry maybe they will finance Kylie Jennifer's maybe because yeah, it, it's too it's so close they might people might not realize let's make, let's is... make a Kylie Jennifer lip kit and see you know how well we do but we'll make it like the TJ or no I'm thinking of TJ Matt. uh we'll make it like the Nordstrom rack version so it's like we take kylie jenner's lip kit that's probably what like a hundred bucks and we make our kylie jennifer for 25 dollars. that's like hashtag kylie jennifer which i can't wait to start selling and marketing but another like (laughs) trick sorry that i just realized that i fell for when i was younger that it's like no she earned it on her own when i was younger and the beverly hills 90210 was on i remember being such a big deal that like tori spelling got cast but Nobody knew she was Aaron Spelling's daughter because she submitted under, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, like you don't know who the cre-. like now that I'm older and understand how things work. But I would be in magazines like sh- nobody even knew when she got the role of Donna. It's like, okay, even if she did submit under a different name, 
everybody knows like it's it's ridiculous and i totally bought it when i was little yeah she played violet bickerstaff on say by the bell for about four mm-hmm. episodes as well one. she dated screech she See dated screech that's movie. correct i remember fun fact um all right well how do we want to get into this episode we just talked about the wonderful trivia any other trivia stuff that we liked or didn't like i mean i loved it i was smiling ear to ear the whole time i yeah. feel like this whole episode i was smiling and smirking i just felt so entertained by it even when it starts to get into more of those competitive worlds i felt like it was a a fun competition though like people were very accepting of the fact that they needed to go into elimination ready to prove themselves ready to play people were drawing the lines uh because it's becoming that time when even if you're working in a bigger alliance you have to kind of narrow it down like we see mark and derek starting to to plan and plot against you know like wes and nehemiah people who they've kind of been aligned with in some sense so I just I was really like into all of the side deals and the competition and yeah and the trivia was hilarious so always yeah I mean they're they're all they're all scrambling at this point if they don't have an alliance with someone they're trying to at least maybe make an alliance with that person I mean honestly I think Ronnie should have gone over to the other side and left the treehouse because I knew all along we 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 all knew all along she was the third banana in that damn group um of the of the treehouse that was left after Sylvia left well before Sylvia left she was the fourth damn banana she was always last Ronnie she should have switched over she should have Kellyanne Naya John A put all those people together go against the treehouse and hey Ronnie now you get to go down to elimination and uh spoiler alert you don't you don't come back so well I I don't think being in the treehouse made her vulnerable to getting thrown in in that particular elimination, right? I mean, I think. Well, as soon as. But as soon as they picked John A to go down. Wait. Yeah. As soon as they picked John A to go down there, John A could have picked anybody in the treehouse. You're right. But she went after uh, Ronnie and that's her and that's her right to do so. It wasn't necessarily Ron's doing that caused her to be. Well, I think it was more the stance you that couldn't make- hadn't gone in. Didn't John A say you, all right, it's time for us to do this. Neither of us have gone into elimination this season. Well, that's my point though. So the treehouse that's left is Veronica and, and Kayla and Ronnie at this point in the game. And Veronica won this challenge. So she can't get put down into that because I think she may have struggled pulling up the, the weight. Who knows? I don't know. But the only person left is Kayla or Ronnie if John A wants to go against the treehouse. And I don't think that John A wants to take that chance with Kayla, who has done a ton of eliminations. So the only person that's left is Ronnie. Therefore, Ronnie getting kind of not screwed over, but she's, yeah. she's done. She's out I of mean, the house. I was always for that idea that she should flip to the other side. But sadly, that was our idea, not hers. And why would she, you know, in her perspective, in her mind, why would she flip an alliance that has numbers and that has been protecting her the entire season? And I also don't think... Ronnie didn't come into this game wanting to play a ruthless game of politics. She wanted to come in as another once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, I get the sense from her. She won in what, 98, hasn't done it since. Um, This is a fantastic opportunity, but she also said she has a career, she has kids, she has a life. I don't think that she wanted to come in and and play a dirty strategical game of a social game. You know, I think she wanted to come in, compete athletically and then have some fun. So. I wish she turned, but sadly, no one thought of that. But but us, that's why they need us, right? Yeah. Um, Kellyanne was smart. She saved herself, which she, I don't think, I think she's too tiny to have done really well in this, and she's bad at puzzles. So this would not have been a good one for her. So it's good that she, and sh- that she offered a deal, because that's what she was saying when she was in charge. She's like, come to me with something, not just like, well, hey, you know, you shouldn't pick me. It's it's like, no, offer that you'll keep me safe or so on and so forth. So I liked Kellyanne's strategy. My other overall, I guess, is that um, my man Jordan, not a great showing tonight. Well, Wait, I have thoughts on this. Are we, we can definitely get into that? Get into that. that was like dagger to the heart. Well, he wasn't great in trivia either. I was surprised he did Trivia, he, he got two because he was at the end of the line. So he gets two in a row, just like when we do our drafts here on the uh-huh. challenge after show. And he got two questions in a row to go back and he got them both wrong. One was the octagon question. That was the second one. Everybody knows that. I exa- And everyone knows. And I'm sorry, but doesn't everyone know where? Okay, I didn't know that, guys. Stop the stop I didn't sign? know that. You didn't know that a stop sign was an octagon? An octagon? Well, a hexagon's five. Say it again. Okay. Octagon is eight. Hexagon is right. 
Uh, Pentagon is five. Oh, Hexagon is six. Are. Hexagon is I know what the shapes are, but. Septagon is seven, possibly. <laughs> sure. Wait, what was his first question? It was also, I thought. Area 51, he said New Mexico. Oh, right. Nevada. Everyone knows Nevada, right. Okay, I'm like, right. Jenna, hold on. I Jenna? thought Arizona. So does everyone. Did you really, know? Jenna? I'm sorry. Do you speak for all the people, Dan? Because yeah, everybody people knows. who don't know the niche place where the aliens live. Okay? Where's the Grand Canyon, Jenna? That's in See, Nevada. Canada? Right? That's in Nevada, she said. Is the Grand Canyon, ladies. Grand Ca Atlantic City? No, it's, I was, it's Arizona. Canyon. It's in Arizona. Okay. I was trying to help no, Jenna. It's cool. no, it's Falls. Niagara Falls. I always do get confused. Is it Canada, Canada, right? Okay. New York, Canada line or whatever. It's up New that York, way. New York, Canada line. Because I remember in <laughs> Superman 2, they go there, but they like go from Atlantic City. So I've always thought it was, I guess they drive from New York to, I guess they drive upstate. Canada. There you go. I thought Grand Canyon was in Nevada. There's, it's in full, I think. I'm pretty because sure it's, it's right outside of Arizona. Vegas, and I've I've gone to it on the way to Vegas. So that's why Arizona's on the way to Vegas. Grand Canyon National Park is contained within the state of Arizona, while the attached Glen National Recreation Area is in Utah, and the Lake okay. Mead National Rec is in the Grand Canyon in Nevada. Borders the Grand Canyon in Nevada. That's, I don't know. It's a whole thing. It's an Anyways. area 51 situation. Now, <laughs> I, I knew a lot of these. I was proud, but then also, yes, I thought it was easy. Well, tell us in the comments below which ones you got wrong, because I think most people got a lot of them right. So we want to know what people got wrong and what people got to, you know tripped up by, for sure, in the comments section. math and spelling. So I was pr impressed that Veronica did. Like, I could do that with, like, pen and paper, but even four times 12, I was like, a, okay 48 like it would have yeah. taken and time. i like that veronica um took kellyanne's deal at least at least the way it may sound at the end because now if, if, if she's really worried about kellyanne winning one she's going to be sending in kayla not her or at least she should and then veronica has a big beef with kellyanne if she if she does turn on her like that which is a pretty badass move by kellyanne if she definitely pulled that off and we only have a couple episodes left so can veronica even get redemption who knows if, if, if kellyanne did that of course right it also comes down to uh, Kellyanne could be, it's like whatever, but Kellyanne could see herself in a position where Kayla won and they're really, it's like, you know. Well, if Kayla wins, she's probably win. going after Kellyanne. I mean, there's not many people left. Right. Or Naya, I guess, because Naya's That's not right. part of their thing. Naya. Um, Jenna, you said you had a lot of thoughts on the Jordan elimination tonight. Uh, Jordan calls in Mark. I also want to talk about after Jenna gives her take who Jordan should have picked in hindsight because he lost to Mark. Jenna, action. That's an interesting question. So uh, the reason I said I had a lot of thoughts was because Pam said Jordan had a poor showing. And uh, I was thinking that it was not a poor showing for him pulling down the puzzle pieces in this elimination because he does have the disability of only having one full hand. How hard, how ridiculously hard must that be? I mean, Mark already had a difficult time pulling down the rope in order to get the weight up there right. with having two completely perfectly working arms and hands. So the weight was already very heavy. It was challenging enough to begin with. It is so hard for Jordan to, to try to wrap his one good hand around it use his other arm to pull it down. It's ridiculously hard. I didn't, at one set point, I didn't think that he was gonna be able to do it, but he still did. And again, that's why it's astonishing. Um, so I thought in terms of that, I was like, wow, he really did it again. Like he really performed so well. Uh, and it's one of those moments where we don't like to ever blame the game for being unfair or saying like the refs won the game for the one team. It's the challenge, you know, you're just supposed to rise to the occasion. But it was one of those those eliminations where I thought, damn, is this a little bit unfair? So yeah, I mean, try, think about, it. make one of your hands a fist and yeah. then try to pull up a rope. I mean, that's essentially what he's what he's doing. I don't Emma. feel bad for Jordan ever. I think he could do everything. Like, I don't I don't think he needs like my- No, I don't think he- Did he or anything? <laughs> But um, I, 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 no, I, I just think he, 
he wasn't as fat. I mean, I think he can do everything and compete against. Him. We've seen him beat anyone at anything. It, it's not. It's, I don't think his handicap is literally a handicap. I, I think he I'm. Always I'm more that. wondering. I thought he should have done the puzzle faster. The time exactly. So I'm more wondering yeah. how much time he had to do that puzzle. So that's more where I'm disappointed. I get it. Yeah, he definitely struggled getting the 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 bag of the puzzle pieces down. And Mark obviously did it first and he did it quicker. But it still looked like, and maybe this is a trick of time here that they played on us. It looked like Jordan had enough time to figure out the puzzle before Mark. It's not like Mark was basically done and right, Jordan had just looked neck and they neck. made it look like they were both on it for a little bit of time, 30 seconds to a minute at the most. And he still didn't pull it off. So that's I'm where I'm left. Guessing Jordan was not too far behind Mark. Um, he had all the pieces down. He was trying different methods to get the puzzle. But sometimes you walk into a puzzle, you walk backwards, ass into it, and like, oh, I'm done. Whoops. And then sometimes you cannot figure it out to save your life. And that's where we see Kellyanne flip out every week. I don't Except for last really week where she chilled out and, or was it two weeks ago? I forget. Last, last week. week. Last week. Far. I don't think it's Jordan's fault. Poor showing as a bad. I'm not, I'm not mad at him. I just would have really liked to see him like sweep the floor of Mark. So it was, a, I was a little Me too. Just Me too. Of- and it sucked. And that's why my overall thought and coming into the show, I wanted to be like, I hate this for us. I hate this for me. I hate this for all the viewers. And mostly I hate this for Jordan. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. He really should go to a final in all stars. Yes, he the should. other, I, I do agree that I totally think he should have done that puzzle quicker. And I was kind of sitting there like, what, what is taking you so long? You know, this is an elimination, right? Like, are you counting yourself out already? But again, I think the act of him pulling down, even though you're saying you, I don't pity him. I agree. I think Jordan can do anything, but there are certain things that are just always going to be so much harder for one for, with a person with one hand. And I feel like Jordan keeps finding himself in those damn eliminations <laughs> where it's like, can he just get one that maybe doesn't require that sort of right. uh, a grip? Need. Right. <laughs> he doesn't need to grip. grab onto something right. with two hands. Um, so that is how I felt. Also his speech ahead of time uh part of me loved part of me hated you know because of course it has a little tang of like cringe it was a little much a little much i agree it was a little much but i also was like you know what just because it's not my style doesn't mean i should hate on him it obviously the way that his um self-talk works he and I think a lot of us are lacking that you know like if I mess up I'm like calling myself an idiot you know but if he's saying you know he's using these mythologies to to pump himself up if that's the way that he's been able to be so successful in his life good good for you I can't be a hater but I was just thinking you better win now like now you really need to win Um, I felt a little cringe because I felt like his heart wasn't even in it maybe that's it like usually his stuff is not shemsy cringy at all but this I felt like he it was like I don't know I didn't feel Jordan's energy tonight through the I didn't feel it when he called him out I didn't feel it when he was I just think part of him was like checked out a tiny bit Mm -hmm. not that he like gave up or didn't want to win but he wasn't full force I feel like Jordan could take Mark any day on anything and so yeah so let's 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 talk about this then so Jordan gets into the elimination. He gets into the arena. He sees the rope at the top. He sees the thing at the top. He sees a little, little platform there. Obviously, you're going to put some type of puzzle on this thing. He can. He's done this challenge up. He knows exactly basically what this elimination is. He decides to go with the Godfather Mark, go bigger, go home. Maybe that was his idea behind it. But he only has two other people that he can pick. He can pick Wes and he can pick Nehemiah because Derek won, correct? Oh, Brad. He can also and pick Brad. Brad and Brad. I don't think he picked Brad, though, because... Brad is strong and has endurance and actually has proven to be really good at puzzles. So who should yes, he have picked? Probably. I'm, I think I we think, all, Nehemiah, I mean, Nehemiah I think Nehemiah is, I think at this point we could admit the weakest player. So for that, but that's not Jordan's style. I think he was going to go Correct. out of bed. And I don't think he okay. wanted to lose to someone like Nehemiah. That's not going to help. Not that he's oh, really going to be like, the challenge Guinness book. Like I can't have Nehemiah on my record of losing to him, but I do think Nehemiah might be the worst at puzzles out of this group that's left. Um, and not as strong, not as, I think not as strong. Weakest. Yeah. Like Mark is strong. Like Mark's well, but then again, didn't we see Nehemiah last season, like hold his own with some strength thing. And we were confused. Like, wow, he's looks like he's stronger than you. I don't know. It's no. hard to say. That was when I think 
Ayana drag something across, and we were like, "How <laughs> Nehemiah couldn't do it?" Well, that's it. a whole different thing. I don't, I don't remember. Um, but, but I think it would have been smarter if he picked Nehemiah. I think Jordan is a go big or go home kind of person. He's not going to pick the safe choice, so he picked Mark. It's not like totally embarrassing that he lost this or anything. When Jordan was in his original elimination, was he sent down there, or did he? How did it work? The 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 the, the whole six person authority picked him. And then pick Darrell. Okay, like, Darrell. It, but he didn't call down yes. Darrell, correct? Because that was no, before they were doing they this voted. part of it. Yeah. When they voted Darrell to go in and take him out. Right. Because Jordan got last place. Or was right. it Darrell that got last? No, Darrell got last place because he was afraid to jump off the thing. That's right. what happened. Yeah. He's right. afraid to stand whoever on the ledge. In, whoever was in the authority <laughs> voted picked, in. Pick Jordan, right. Jordan, yeah. Um, yeah, but, but back to, I mean, what we already talked about it almost feels like Jordan, I don't know, he would never want to go home, but he just felt so, Pam, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, he looks so check it out during right. that. Moment. Like, was he deflated? What was it? Was it the editing that maybe we didn't realize? Oh, possibly pulling up that heavy piece and feeling like, wow, I'm, I'm legit behind in this. But it's also one of those eliminations. This wasn't an outlast elimination where you have to have mad endurance and all this stuff. This was a quick, 30 seconds to one minute elimination for both sides, no matter what. It was not going to be, I think Jordan likes those ones where you have to outlast your opponent, outwit your opponent. Like when he had to do the rope pull against uh, the boy we don't talk about. So I don't know. I think he'd rather be in something like that as far as instead of like this quick hit elimination where there's no strategy to it. It's like, just get it done as fast as possible. Right, right. Yeah. Which amazes me still about his pace during the puzzle. It makes me think that maybe the editing did fool us because I did feel like he was pretty quickly behind Mark, but I wonder if maybe he felt like, oh, Mark is just about to, he's get, he's doing it right now. Why am I even bothering? I don't know. It felt like we saw Jordan doing the puzzle for long enough that he could have done it way quicker. Yeah. And it's not Jordan style. Like I get being tired, but does he ever get tired? No, that's so against everything that he is as a competitor. It just looked like by the time he started doing the puzzle, he was accepting that he lost or something. I don't know. It was very rare to see from him. Even by the trivia, it's like he got all this. It's like, I think he lost that. Mm. Like even that, it's like, maybe he just was like, I don't know, you know, inertia. Like maybe he was just on a downward. That's what I was like. He lost that. He just was like rolling with yeah. losses. When Mark did finish his puzzle, I verbally yelled out like, no, no, <laughs> at the TV. Like, I was like, no, but yeah. I was yelling at the TV. Cause I was like, I, I mean, I don't think any of us wanted to see Mark stay over Jordan. Obviously this makes it, I mean, I like West too. So this makes it maybe a little bit easier for West. If West makes two final, he doesn't have to go against Jordan. Um, so I think that might be helpful for anybody left in the game, but literally the only guy I picked in my top three that's left is West. I put Brad in fourth place, so he's not even in my top three. So I already lost two of them. Do we know who we, I think, and I might be having- You and I picked the same ones. We picked Yes oh. and Jordan as our other two. Oh, I went. Yes, Jordan and Wes. Okay. But, but, Pam, uh, but Jenna had other people, so she might be in the lead right now. Who do you got, Jenna? Um, I know that I have Brad, and I know I had Jordan, and I believe it was between Wes and Darrell for the other two. I think guys. it was Wes then, because Darrell had already gotten eliminated by the time you got All the right. pick. Jenna might bring home you said you would have put Darrell in, but he was already gone by the time you got to pick. Is that what it said? Something like that. <laughs> you're know. like, oh, well, that works out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Darrell's gone. I, I was going to pick him, but oh, okay. I'll start fresh. Or maybe, no, maybe it was Wes and yes. Because I it was Wes and yes. I was oh, and between Brad, Brad, Wes and yes. It was between. No, it was, it was Brad, Jordan, then Wes and yes, you were choosing from. But either way, they're, well, yeah, did you have yes though in a verse over West though, or did you end up going with Wes? I think I went with yes. Ooh, so we all only have Wes. Wes, don't. No, no, don't Jenna, Jenna, Jenna has Brad. Jenna has Brad, oh, and we Brad. have Wes. So to see, and as far as the females go, I still have Kayla. Kelly and Kayla. I still have Kayla. I think we all had Kellyanne, Kayla, and John A. I didn't. I did not have John A. I have John A. Who was my other girl I had? I don't remember. I don't remember at all. I think I had Kayla and Kellyanne. And yeah. I can't remember who the other girl was. Anyways. All right. So that's that. Um, I mean, any, any other uh, point? This episode was pretty cut and dry. There wasn't, I mean, there was obviously the little deals that they were making and we liked Here's some of those. Funny. 
So my husband walked in as I was watching the elimination because he came home for a minute during work. And I was like, don't come in here. Don't listen to what's happening. But I was watching the elimination. And I said, ah, when Jordan lost. And I asked him after I watched the episode, who do you think goes home this week? And I said, here's the background, the context, the challenge of the day is trivia. And so he said, okay, so I think Derek's going into elimination. And I think Kellyanne's going into elimination. And I didn't say anything, but it's funny that the person he expected to go into elimination for the males, we kind of all thought as well, and he thought him as well, but he won, was Derek. And Kellyanne also being really bad at trivia, being the first one out, but making a political move so that she avoids elimination. So I was like, that's funny, yeah. we're kind yeah. of on pattern, but also dead wrong. It just goes to show you that anything can happen in this game. And like the people that we think might not do well one week or do well one week, it could be the complete reversal. So yeah. who knows? Cause we, we thought we, we didn't really count Derek in. None of us picked Derek in our top three to make it to a final. And he obviously is only five dudes left now and only in probably three are going to make it. So he's very close. So um, whose side or what alliance do you hope prevails? Because it's like Mark, Derek, and Brad, and Nehemiah, and Wes. But also Brad, Brad's kind Brad, of- Brad, Brad is jumping. Yeah, Brad is in the best situation. Bearded Brad is bouncing back and forth on the boys. That's a lot of bees right there. Mm -hmm. And he is. Um, I mean, obviously I hate the treehouse, so I'll go uh, Kellyanne all day. I'm going to be rooting for Kellyanne. Oh, well, I was talking about the guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the guys, I mean- we're all a team West. Right? I'm team West. Cause I, I picked him to win. Plus he's my favorite player of all time on the challenge. And then if Brad works with him, I'm not a huge Nehemiah guy though. So it's always like, all right, but I want West and Brad to win at this point. Mark and Derek. Bye guys. It's fine. I'm over Mark and Derek. Unfortunately. You are. Um, I don't mind yeah. them as P I think they're fine, but I'm not going to be rooting for them at all. I yeah. like Derek as a person. I don't, have strong feelings about Mark. I just don't, I mean, not, I don't, I, I don't want to hate him for announcing that he has a podcast on national TV while he's in a different game, but it just rubbed me the wrong way. He said the name of his podcast on the damn show. That's okay. I, I mean, Bob, like, get out of here. I mean, I I'd be doing know. the same crap, by the way. That's I'm just his saying. livelihood. Like, that's literally what he does. So uh, like, I, totally. And I would be doing the same thing, but it's still, as a viewer, rubbed me. I want to believe in like a reality show like this. You're a part of this show. There's nothing else happening around the world. Your focus is a show, not about promoting a talk show that you do later on. But mm. I'd be doing the same thing, like, with all I, that. Stuff. That's not bothering me. I just, I like, I, I, I think. Well, first of all, sorry. Why did Wes decide to lose the first, like? Lose the first what? Trivia. So he got the like, question wrong and he was trying to pretend that it was a strategic plan. Yeah, which, no, no, no. He just got it wrong, Pam. He's full of shit. Yeah. He's uh, lying. Uh, he wanted okay. to be able to give a wink to the audience or some crap. No, he just didn't know the answer. The first one he got wrong was. Um, it was pretty easy. Oh yeah, first month with thirty yes, has I thirty like days. Knew. I feel like Wes knew that. I don't and know. January's thirty-one. February's twenty-eight or twenty-nine. February, April is th well, every other month. It's not January. It's not. That's the trick. It's not. March February. is thirty-one, so April had to be thirty. Right. right. But but and I think so February was the trick in there. People thought maybe February, February but but he said I don't know January. I do think he threw it. I do think he really did. I think he thought January had thirty days. I really do. I, I think I don't think he threw it. Uh, Jenna, you break the tie. <laughs> well, I thought that he genuinely said January, but now you're turning now, sides. Now I might be turning sides because I just feel like it's very obvious that January has 31 days. Why do you think he threw it? What was his point I of throwing it to become? Not. Yeah. Like, I why did he throw it though? Tell me that reason. Like, then I'll, I don't want to be the winner of this. I just don't want to be the loser. Like I want to come in somewhere but that doesn't matter. Being the loser now doesn't matter because you can be last place and still not go into elimination anymore. You don't get thrown down there. Right. So I don't he should know. always go for the win at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But I and if he thinks it. his strong suit is the mind games and his smarts and wits, yeah. why not? Yeah. Yeah. Trivia. I feel like out of pride because press, God, I can't talk today. Because Wes is very prideful. I do think if it's a game that has to do with intelligence, he would just really strive on being able to win that, you know? I agree. That's why he said, I'm going to wink at you guys if I'm faking it and then I'll get the rest right. 
I don't know. We're going to have to doubt. I'm not buying it. Tell us in the comment section below, did Wes throw the trivia challenge or did he purposely get it wrong and want to give a wink to the crowd about how easy it was or something like that? We might be misremembering what he this wink thing was, by the way. Um, all right. To see uh, back to the deal with Veronica and Kellyanne. I think it was very smart of Veronica and also smart of Kellyanne to propose it. And she did give a solid actual offer in opposition to Sylvia, just kind of tiptoeing around and beating around the bush saying, I want you to save me, but I'm not going to do anything in return. I just, right. I'm not going to outright say, please save me, Kellyanne. Um, it was smart of Veronica to, to play more of the longer game than, you know, making sure that the treehouse doesn't know she's making this deal with Kellyanne. But I do wonder if that will be exposed and what maybe Kayla's reaction will be. But also it's just Kayla and Veronica left in the treehouse. So I don't even right. know if Kayla has a bridge to stand on. So I mean, all Veronica did was Veronica. not put Kellyanne down there. So Kayla could go up to Veronica and say, hey, how come you didn't put Kellyanne down there? And then Veronica can just play dumb and say, I wanted to make, I, John A is a great competitor. She's won the last season. I wanted to get her. And K Kayla won't find out till after the season what this mm -hmm. supposed deal that Veronica and Kellyanne had. So whatever. Which also at this point, I don't, I think like it's every woman man for themselves. I don't think you can. Yeah, the, the, the tree house has two, two members in it at this There's point. No, at this point, yeah. It's like, it's not like they voted to, to work together to get Kelly whatever the Kayla. Jennifer um, hashtag Kyla Jennifer out Kayla it's not like they are betraying Kayla she just said I won't vote you into this tonight yeah so I really think it's like so, any sort of way back. did either of you I, ladies watch next on the challenge for next week the what they they'll highlight yeah. they show? you did Jenna mm -hmm. Pamela why don't you watch it doesn't give anything away I get scared that it might give something away well can I tell can I tell you can I I, I have a question for Jenna then okay go ahead they make it look very obvious because Nia is afraid to jump out of the helicopter, right? Yeah. And then TJ says, "Sorry, you got to go home." It can't be Nia, right? They made it way too obvious. Right? They always would be. Outs. What's that, they Jenna? They always do fake outs in the previews too. But they made they say she's like, "I'm so scared, I'm so scared." Then the next shot they show is TJ when they're back on the ground saying, and they don't show who he's saying it to. He's like, "Well, I'm sorry, you got to go home." So I think something else that might be actually really cool or or bad or whatever happens. Because that seems yeah. too obvious they make Nia go home and they made it obvious like it's her going home. So I don't think it is. It does seem really, really obvious that it's making me believe that it is also not Nia. However, she doesn't. She can't compete in the challenge then because she does go off in a cart. So what does that mean? Does that mean- I feel like it means you're disqualified and you have to go into an elimination and then maybe just the authority picks the other person in this case. But you're right. This is a weird moment because- Usually the last place person, which is disqualified, like Naya in theory, would just go in, no problem. But now the game's changed. If anyone gets disqualified or doesn't want to do a challenge, how what do, how do you punish that player? And that's what they're making it sound like TJ just like, get the hell out of my, get off my island or whatever the hell they are. <laughs> right. So it's confusion between does she go home because she's injured? Does she go home at all? Or what happens because she didn't compete in the challenge? Right. That's my question. Because we've never seen somebody at, at this point of the game where uh, they're voted in and then they pick who they want to go in against be DQ'd and see what happens to their fate in the game. So, yeah, but they make it look so, so obvious. <laughs> it's like so crazy though. I remember, so I was glad that you asked the appointed question because when you said, did you watch the teaser? I was like, yes, I did. But I almost couldn't remember like exactly oh. what happened in the teaser, but I remembered it being insanely dramatic where I just felt like, whoa, like that was a lot to take in, in 15 seconds of. Speaking of dramatic, the music they played at the beginning of the episode when John A was all alone and the music they played oh, Pamela, at the, end, at the elimination Awesome, especially the elimination music. But the music they played at the coming beginning. Coming back, oh, coming back to me now. That's so that. I love that song. Who doesn't? However, I actually, oh. I didn't know if it made sense at that moment. I was like, what does this mean? Like, it was why? very dramatic. I like that. I, I don't sure, know. but it didn't. So they're doing a puzzle. Like this isn't like a thing that it, it's not a memory game. That it's oh, oh they wanted oh, Mark. Mark being, it's all coming back, like how to be in an elimination. No, I thought, oh, oh I what? thought it was like oh. they wanted Jordan to come back to Naya. I coming back to me. No, it was Mark. <laughs> it's all coming back, all coming back to me now because he won. It's like, 
It still doesn't make sense to me. No, if that's the reason I didn't like that choice, but whatever. He played for like two minutes before he won. Correct. Was it was during it was like, like a majority of the elimination when they were trying to stop winning their vote. The climax with him winning. Well, that's good you had an interpretation of it because yeah, I was like, Ooh, what does this mean? Why is this song being used? And I just couldn't draw. Oh, yeah. But I love the song and I and I just, I they made it dramatic and that was fun. Was but like the words didn't match for me as much as they probably could have with another song. What was the beginning song? with? Oh, I don't know, but it was so damn, I was like, this is, I wrote very emotional to start this episode. You got fake MJ in the house, AKA Mark oh. having to comfort John A., and I, I was like, this is all by myself. Don't want to be. And oh, here's, here's, here's what I didn't like at the beginning. John A calls out uh, uh, Derek and she's like, you know, I'm coming after you now. And Derek gives her like a face like, because Derek didn't like take MJ out of the game in the way that you think he was up there and MJ didn't MJ call him down. Derek yeah, had no choice. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, I'm not going to take out MJ, John A, to, so I don't yeah. piss you off. Derek didn't, if Derek called MJ down there, I get it, John A, you can be upset with Derek. Derek was doing his job at this point. It's, 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 it's fight or flight at that point. He got called into elimination. He didn't do anything wrong. Joking around too, though. I mean, I don't think she's coming. I have, I have it out to get John A. So I, anything she says, I take it as a negative. Um, Well, I think that what's cool. I I, I never liked her in the original show and I can't buy into her now. That's exactly what it is. I was going to ask you if you've like come around now to thinking she deserves to be an all-star yet. Who the hell did she beat tonight? Hold on. She actually did win. She beat Ronnie. Ronnie. Ronnie's a good competitor. I think so. Yeah. I've been in a bunch of times to listen. I think Johnny's good at puzzles. I do. There you go. I gave her credit. I gave her, gave her credit. She, she did that puzzle in like 30 seconds. She did it in record speed. It made but, me think the puzzle was for children. You know, I was like, wow, how easy is this? You're putting a few shapes together, but then yeah. seeing the men kind of struggle with it a little bit more, it made me think it was a little bit more deceiving and tricky. Yeah. But the thing about Derek's competitive, competitive talk, whatever, yes. she, uh, trash talk is kind of funny uh because i think that he can take it as well like he can give it but he can take the joke in return like how him and nehemiah were on the platform during trivia just being like i'm xing you i'm xing you they were both kind of laughing at each other which i enjoyed watching um in the spirit of competition because you have someone else like sylvia like we talked about la- last episode pam yeah like when her era of the challenge came in like i really feel like because i have been re-watching the seasons right I feel like invasions was such like a culture shift in the challenge. I don't know when people all of a sudden started to take everything like really sensitively and really personal that they lost that like spirit of competition that like, yeah, you are in a game. You don't have to hate each other as people in order to compete with each other on a challenge that day or go head to head in elimination. And she's a really sore loser. Um, So that's the difference between, between her, uh, the top of last episode, she made a joke to Kellyanne about saying, like, well, Kellyanne, I'm just, I always throw the sabotage at you. Like no one else ever has to worry because it's your job to get the sabotage. She kind of made a joke at it. And then she was upset that Kellyanne didn't like laugh or smile at it. But yeah. it's like, because you dish all that shit, Sylvia, but you can't take it at all. Mm-mm. The second someone jokes about you, it's like a F you and F everyone and the world. Yeah, it's just, so that's yeah. why I appreciate like, cause, cause Derek can give it out, but he'll also take the joke in return totally and that's how it should be like riff on each other you know it's like have fun with it but yeah even john a is like you know having fun with that yeah because she's alone yeah uh well one more thing on john a uh yes she did a great job with the puzzles tonight i do think this is one of the in theory easier puzzles to do um because i remember in the final of All Stars two, her and MJ, they never even finished the puzzle that they were trying to get MJ. done. MJ, 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 MJ. So Sorry, yeah, completely there lost it is. the content of what you just said. We were very focused on the uh, infliction of MJ. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I'm trying to learn um, some Korean because I'm going ah. to visit, and so when you speak in Korean, there's no inflections. Oh, no, it's just, that. it's just very, watch him, watch and I, and that's not how I speak. So I'm trying to say it's uh, one of the words okay. is, is, is I'm trying to say thank you. It's just comes a humnida. But I go comes a humnida, and she's like, "You're saying thank you to them." And like, you gotta... <laughs> Wait, I'm like, okay, okay, I got to work on no inflection. And with MJ, I just did it again. MJ, that's hilarious. 
Say it again, though. Kamsahamnida. I'm again. I'm probably butchering it, but it's it's Kamsahamnida. Uh, Kamsahamnida. But it's like I go Kamsahamnida or Kamsahamnida. I, I I that way, even that first inflection is probably wrong. I'm saying thank you, but the way that Stacy says it, I'm like, oh, I I have to hear it once, and then I can do it. It's really it's very interesting. So every every word is like that. So there's not really any. You um, have to talk. I mean, you got to talk. We'll, we'll have to put Stacy on someday and teach us all some Korean. But uh, okay. thank you feels like the perfect word to add a little extra. No, 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 no frill or flair with uh, in Korean. <laughs> so um, we are watching, we watch a lot of Korean movies, me and Luke. I don't know why, we just do. Um, they make better movies, Korean and Danish, a lot of Danish movies. But Koreans, the favorite thing is when they get mad. So obviously they don't intone like da 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 the way that we do. But when they get mad, it's like, so say it's kum sum ni da, kum sum ni da, kum sum ni da. They'll just start yelling and saying it. Like the, they do yell. They're like volume obviously makes the emphasis because it's like kum sum ni da. They'll be when they're really mad. Yeah. It's funny. So you have to ask her, so how, how does that just angry gets loud? I assume, and then it would, it wouldn't like the inflection wouldn't move. I don't know. I mean, again, we'll have to do uh, yeah story time with Stacy sometime. Yeah. We'll bring her in, and she'll tell us some stories and teach us some stuff. All right. Um, all right. Sure, Any sure. other? Uh, do we want to talk about Rocky Mountain or Mountain Oysters at all? Balls. I mean, what else we got here? We are, we're good. We're good for the day. I thought that was a really good guess. I never would have guessed balls. I would have guessed knew, like a I knew. seafood area. Yeah, I knew that. See, these are things that I think I knew that one too for some yeah, random why. reason though. I don't know why I would know that, but I knew that one. I don't know either, but I'm I Well, just, should I just keep going on uh, a list of things that I got wrong then? Oh yeah, tell oh. us more. Well, I mean, I don't Okay, I won't call you out. I'll just say, "Oh, that's too bad." <laughs> no, give it to me. All Not right, what other one what other one didn't you know? Was actual trivia. Like when they do geography, like facts, like math, spelling, geography. I don't know Bunzo. those random dumb trivia. I mean, you didn't know the Niagara Falls was in Canada. Okay, maybe I don't know where the Grand Canyon is, but I think well, they're both actually huge. Yeah, I think we get credit for that because I did know it's just the Superman um, threw me off. Or the uh the boat. The, the pilgrim boat. boat. I did. Oh, say, okay. I said okay. the Santa Maria, but it's not. That's Christopher that's, Columbus's boat. The Nina, the Pinta. Yeah, Christopher Columbus Santa had Maria. three three boats. Yeah, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I, I was gonna get. Get yeah. Yeah. Flowers, so If you ever watch the movie cool. School of If you ever watch the movie School of Rock with Jack Black, that's one of that's a question that's asked to the class, and the kid says Santa Marina, and he's like, "Correct." Mm -hmm. Wait, no, Santa Maria has to help him correct it. But yes. In wow. elementary yeah. school, we did a play and it went, Christopher Columbus, yes, that is my name. And I am here to offer you wealth and fame. Here's all I need from you, a few sailing ships. I have a sudden urge to take some ocean dips. I want to get there soon. Lie in the sand, bananas and coconuts taste so grand. And morning, night and noon in that good land, we'll be moving to the center of the Calypso band. And then another verse is the Nina, the Pinta and the Santa Marie. I think it's Maria. Santa Marie, according to my yeah. elementary school. And the Santa Marie. And the um, Santa Marie, it could be. Yeah. Why did I think it was Santa Maria always my whole life? Santa That's, Santa didn't I say Santa Maria? I thought it was the Santa Maria. That's what anyway, I think it is. I also didn't know the four elements of It's Santa Maria. Okay, well, my elementary school play did me dirty. Well, mm -hmm. I think that's enough talk about a slave owner named Christopher Columbus, by the way. Yeah, yeah no, that. I know. That's why my education- Oh, uh, how about podi pod podiatrist? You know what a podi podiatrist is? Okay. I did too. I knew that one. I felt Good really job. And the only reason I know really that good. one is because Steve from Full House, his adult job on Fuller House was a podiatrist. I thought he was a veterinarian. And no, that's that's his that's DJ's job. Uh, okay. Because didn't they work together? Oh, she was a podiatrist for the Los Angeles Lakers. Or no, for the Golden State Warriors or something. I have a friend who's or maybe the Lakers. So I knew. Oh, great. That's how you knew. All right. Do you know who killed Lincoln, Jenna? I did. Yeah. Good. How about how many inches are in four? Oh, you have my Jenna. That's uh, Pamela. Yes, that's math for you. For yeah, how yes, many? Uh, four I mean, feet is how many inches? Inches is right. in. So four times twelve. But it, 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 that's how we should yeah. all remember that one. There you I go. was still I was still computing when Veronica answered. So was that stole the rug out from underneath me? But I would oh, there you go. It. You think you would have got to it, right? I, I, I was headed there. Well, I thank thought you. twerk was twerk, 
So I would have spelled T-W-E-R-K. That would have been hilarious. Twerk. Hey, oh, oh, I have one more thing. Did, at the end of the um, the challenge, uh, Derek looked like he was soaking wet. I think that he asked to be launched or they just launched him and they just didn't show it because he looked all mm -hmm. wet. Maybe, or maybe he jumped into the water, but either way- You have to get down. I, I'm, I would want to get launched off that because I think that would be fun. So I think that Derek got, got launched. launched. That's my that's my conspiracy theory of the night. They launched him after the thing just for fun, or maybe TJ was just maybe because TJ does have full control of that lever. He just launched him uh, whenever he wanted to. Mike. Yeah, recently, Mike, guys. Yep. All right. Hashtag uh, Rocky Mountain Oysters if you're still watching. And Kylie Jennifer. And Kylie Jennifer. Hashtag Jennifer. Kylie Jennifer. Jennifer. That one's better. Yeah. Kylie Jennifer. Self made. Self made. All right, our hashtag Rocky Mount Oysters in Kylie Jenner's mouth. That's awful. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Self-made mouth. Self-made, self-made my self -made ass mouth. mouth. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's because she does lipstick and you put them in your mouth. Self-made There it mouth. is, there it is. Wonderful. Wow, what a way to end it. All right, well, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. So talk to us in the comments and hit us up on Patreon. I got the link in the description if you want to click on it and subscribe for a whole dollar a month. Yes. We'll yep. make it happen. Uh -huh. Save save the animals. My dog has to go to the vet now. He's old. Oh, he's not even there. The he's gone. He's actually behind here. He's, he's going to the podiatrist. Oh, <laughs> look at his little head. Oh, oh he is he puppy. knows he's staring at you he knows you're taking him to a place God, he does not want to go right now he is oh, he's all right, guys. I'm sorry, really like, oh all right bye everyone see you all later right, bye, bye.